Diana Denmark here and welcome back to day four of our five day self care challenge. Remember I'm making these short five minute videos because the idea here is for you to focus on your self care this week. Uh, so, so we're changing things up a bit. I know a lot of you have been putting off the self care. Today you have a little mission and remember with all these missions please set your timer because the idea here is not for you to go and do self-care for the whole day and forget about everything else that is going on. Uh, we're, we're, we're just working on small habits here and introducing a bit of self-care. So set your timer for 5, 10 or 15 minutes and I want you to go and seek out something new today that is going to take you out of the equation, that's going to lead your thoughts somewhere else and it if possible, look for something that you can read, um, something that you can play online, uh, perhaps on your telephone or on the computer, perhaps something on the television. So I'm going to give you a few ideas of what I use to get, to pull my thoughts, you know, to pull my head out of everything that is going on and give me a little bit of me time. And as usual, set your timer. I can't say this often enough. Set your timer before you do any of these things. Right, on books, I've mentioned this before, I love Cozy Crimes, uh, Andrea Camilleri, I love Italian author, I love the Cozy Crimes there because it's set in Italy, you've got warmth, good food, a bit of romance and a couple of dead bodies, great. Uh, the other uh, author that I like for Cozy Crimes, uh, a, a modern author because you know, Agatha Christie, I love Agatha Christie and all the Golden Age writers. Uh, Simon Brett, he writes a very series uh, the one series that I love the most is the one with the two uh, ladies um, who are kind of middle-aged and there's always a dead body or two kind of floating around in their little village. So Simon Brett's great. And for humour, I love P.G. Woodhouse, any of the uh, Jeeves books. And I've told you about that before, so I won't go into that. Now, maybe you're into something different. Um, cookbooks. This is the cookbook that I got from a next door, or soon to be next door neighbor, neighbor who is also a fly lady fan. Woohoo! More on that uh, if you saw that on Instagram yesterday. Maybe you are into reading uh, self help books. I'm not really into self help books, but I mentioned this one in January, which is a fun little read. Uh, and maybe kind of lifestyle books. Sometimes I get these from the library. It's so funny to read these Huga books. I mean, we are here in the home of Huga, especially ones that are not written by Danish people. It's uh, nice to see their insight of how they think Huga is uh, for us here in Denmark. Anyway, maybe it's not books. Maybe you would like to try a new game. Uh, I'm not really into those games on the telephone or on the iPad like Candy Crush or Farmville. But what I have discovered recently I've started playing a computer game which is called uh, Counter-Strike Go. Now, if you have teenagers in your house, they will know what I'm talking about. Now, this is just something I never thought I would do, but you know what, you've got to try new things. And it's basically, you know, shoot, shoot, bang, bang. And it's the good, good guys versus the bad guys. And I wanted to be a, a spy or a detective when I was small. And this really appeals to me and it's really, kind of quite nerve-wracking because you've got you know the bad guys hiding around the corner and I'm still trying to work out how to do things with the mouse and jump but I'm having a whale of a time and my DS18 he doesn't even play this anymore it was something he used to play when he was like in third grade but he thinks it's really cool that we talk about this at the dinner table and I'm asking him hints and oh yeah how do I get that ammunition <laughs> So anyway, try something new. Don't, don't be scared to try something new. Uh, and if you are going to start playing something like Counter-Strike, make sure that you set your timer because suddenly time has gone. And uh, Anyway, um, and what about something like uh, the crosswords? Maybe it's been years since you did the crossword. I used to always do the Guardian crosswords, you know, actually in the physical paper. Um, and I don't buy any papers or magazines now, but I can get the Guardian crossword online. That's a great thing to do. Sudoku, uh, what about television series? Have, have you, you know, been watching the same old things uh, on Netflix? Try something new. I'm not really a Netflix fan, apart from um, Stranger Things, series one and two. That was the only thing that I've really enjoyed on Netflix. But, you know, I've mentioned it before, I love anything of those uh, cozy crimes on the television, like Father Brown, uh, Death in Paradise, any of the Agatha Christie, uh, Hercule Poirot, Miss Marple, 
anything like that, if we, uh, murder, she wrote, you know, that's kind of mind-numbing television, but it takes me out of the equation and gives me some, you know, it takes me off to a different place at a different time and, and just gives me a little break. So anyway, I hope that gave you a few ideas. Let me know down below, let me know what you like. I know a lot of you like the same kind of uh, books as I do, but I would really like to know if you've got any other kind of games uh, like uh, Counter-Strike Go or I, I don't know, maybe you play um, LOL and, and LOL not as in Load of Laundry, uh, but League of Legends or maybe you're playing The Sims or something like that. Anyway, as usual, I'm going to keep it short because there's only five minutes this week uh, for each of these videos. So live long and prosper. May the Danish Huga be with you in whichever form it takes, uh, and I'll see you tomorrow for the last day. Okay, bye for now.